I'm travelling to just outside Bergen in Norway, where sustainable scallop breeding is breaking new ground. Morning, Knut. Morning. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Knut Magnus Persson is part of an elite team using an age-old method of harvesting scallops from the seabed, only by hand. Is, is this the way that scallops will be produced in the future? Yeah, I hope so. But Knut and his team are in the minority. 95% of the scallops we eat are caught by dredging, where large teeth plough through the seabed, a practice Norway banned years ago. Has the seabed recovered since the dredging stopped? It's getting better, yeah. And now for my bomb moment, as Knut wants me to suit up and dive for scallops. Jimmy gets the African heat, and I have to brave nine degrees in the North Atlantic. There was always going to be a catch. I've been cooking with scallops for years, but I never realised I could tell the age of one just by counting the rings on the shell. So much life down here. Although hand picking is a more expensive way to collect scallops, the Norwegians believe the environmental benefits are well worth it. So this is the ideal picture of a, of a good seabed. Yeah, with, with dredging it will be no seaweed or nothing here now. Now we have, uh, I don't know, about 60, 70 scallops. So we will take this bag and inflate it. That goes to the surface. It's good to go, let it go. Yeah. All done, but knud has got another job for me. He doesn't just harvest these little chaps for market, he's also part of a team dedicated to increasing the population. Yeah, they are 12 months. 12 months old, yeah. OK. And when's the next time you're going to see these, then? Four or really? five years. You can leave them alone yeah. until that part time. What should I do, then? Scientifically lob them over? Yes. The baby scallops will remain down on the ocean bed until they reach maturity. They are quite happy. Yeah, look at them. And finally, after all that hard work, it's time to taste the freshest scallop ever. So you're quite spoiled, so I guess you try scallops like this frequently, this fresh. Yes, I like them fresh. We very rarely, even in the best restaurants, you, they're probably a couple of days old before. Mm. God, that's good. So I've seen the starter, but before I leave Norway, the team tell me it's time to taste the main, traditional Norwegian style. What are we eating? We're going to eat sheep's head. We're going to be what? Sheep's head. Are we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit different to my traditional Sunday roast, then. Here it is. Wow. Actually, you can't eat everything on this sheep's head. You can eat the eye, but the eyeball, maybe you want to take it away, but it's up to you. You can eat it. It's not dangerous. <laughs> my culinary companion, Ole, is somewhat of a local hero. He's Norway's champion sheep head speed eater. And how quickly do you eat your sheep? I've done it in three minutes and 31 seconds. Really? Here's looking at you. Oh, my God, it's an eye. <laughs> mm. It's good. Great. Do you make Jim and Kate do things like this? You don't? Never gonna show it. <laughs> <laughs>